Okay, so first things first, go to preferences, gizmo, and select local coordinate. This is just a much better gizmo to use for positioning 2D patterns. Then if you check the link in the description in the top comment, I provided a project file. So go to file, open project, and it's called female project file. Open that up, click on OK, and it's this Genesis 8 female that we're going to be loading into Marvelous Designer. And now we can get started. So the first thing that I'm going to be creating on this character is the waistband. So if I hold on my left mouse button over here and select rectangle, let me just zoom in a little bit in my 2D workspace here. You can see I can see the silhouette of my character. So now I want to create a waistband over here. So I'll just drag out a waistband like this and that should be perfectly fine. Right, so if you're using a earlier version of Marvelous Designer, you won't be able to see these numbers immediately. So you need to right click and go to show line length. But in MD10, you have to hover over this icon and make sure this is enabled to see this value because this is quite important. You'll see why in a little bit. So now we've got our waistband over here and I'm just going to go to this edit pattern, select this line, right click and go to unfold because we're going to be cr creating two pleat patterns over here and one pleat pattern pattern is going to be sewn onto this line and the other one is going to be sewn onto this line of the waistband. Right, so we used unfold. Now over here, hold on the left mouse button and make sure you've got internal polygon line selected. And over here on this dot, just click and drag to, you're going to be dragging down an internal uh, polygon line. And then once you reach this bottom dot, just double click to complete the process of drawing out that internal line. So now I'm going to go to fabric and I'm just going to change the color over here to something darker. All right, now I'm going to go to my 3D workspace and just position my waistband like this. And now you'll see that there's an option here called Fold Arrangement. So as soon as I click on Fold Arrangement, I can now select this internal polygon line and basically bend the waistband like this. Then I'm going to go back to my Select and Move, move it like this, rotate it like that. So I've got my seam line here in the front and now it doesn't matter if this is intersecting, by the way. It will still wrap around the character. Now, I want you to go to the segment sewing and sew this piece onto this piece. So it's these two ends sewed together. Now, press spacebar to simulate. Okay, so it looks like there's a little bit of an issue. Just help this out a little bit from the character. There we go. Okay, so we've got a waistband on our character. My sewing line is right here in the center. And now we can create those pleats. So to create the pleats is actually very, very easy. But this is why I said we need to enable this value over here. So obviously my value is going to be completely different to yours. Mine is 273.1. But just pay attention to that number because we're going to be creating a rectangle. And we need to take this number and times it by 3. Right? So with pleats, it's usually this length that you see over here times by 3. And that creates a whole lot of bunching and all of the pleats that we see on the skirt. So 273... 273.1 times 3, I'm using Google Calculator by the way, is 819.3. So now I'm going to make sure I'm holding down my left mouse button going to rectangle. And as soon as I left click, it brings up this create rectangle box. So for my width, I'm going to type in 819, comment 3. And for the height, I'll put that on 300. So the height over here is basically going to determine uh, how long our skirt is going to be, our pleated skirt. And I'm just going to move this over here. So now just to show you that this value, if I split this into three, let me just make sure nothing is selected. If I go to add point and right click over here and go to uniform split by three, you can see this value is 273.1, which is perfect. So we just took that that value and times it by three. But I'm, I'm going to cancel this because I don't want to add any points. All right, so to create the pleats, I first need to create some internal lines. So make sure you've got edit pattern selected. Select this line, then hold on shift and select the line on the opposite side. Right click and go to offset as internal line along curved. So now this is going to allow you to create an even amount of internal lines from both sides. So you'll see as I increase the number of offsets, this distance between each pleat is going to always be a consistent uh, value. So I'm going to put this on 30. I'm going to do 30 pleats and I'm going to make sure this is on straight line and click on OK. So we created our internal lines and now we're going to be using the pleat function within Marvelous Designer. So select this icon and then I'm going to start from this side. So just 
left click to place down one point and you'll see it creates like this arrow make sure you're going over all of these lines and once you reach the other side just double click to complete the process now I'm going to be choosing knife pleats and the number of internal lines per pleat I'm going to put that on three and then click on OK and now all I need to do is just sew this top region to this part of the the waistband and now in my 3d workspace I can see all of these lines are completely straight so now if I press a simulate or press spacebar we immediately have a pleated skirt so it really is that simple. Uh, this feature makes the process of making pleats incredibly easy. There is a dedicated uh, pleats sewing, but honestly, from uh, from my experience using this, I don't really use that. I just sew, like I showed you, I just create a segment sewing on this line onto the waistband, and I'm good to go. So now to create the other side of this of the pleated skirt, select this pattern, Control C, Control V to duplicate that. Now we're still going to have some sewing on here. Wait, let me just double check. Okay, there's no sewing enabled over here, which is perfect. So now let's just move this skirt. I'm in the 3D workspace. By the way, if for whatever reason your gizmo disappears, uh, just make sure you left click on that, that pattern piece again and your gizmo should reappear within the 3D workspace. So just rotate it like this. And I'm going to sew this in the 3D workspace since it's incredibly easy to do. So I'm sewing the waistband onto the pleated skirt, simulate, and there we go. So <laughs> wasn't that super easy? Now we just need to make sure because you can see over here we still have this opening in the front. Okay, so we need to sew this onto this, which is going to sew the front. And then I need to sew this end onto this end, which is going to close the back. And then there we go. Quick and easy, we've created a pleated skirt. Now, you can choose exactly where you want this to be positioned on your character. And like I mentioned earlier, uh, if you want to, if you select these patterns and you double click over here, these, these dots will turn orange. So if I increase the length of this, it's going to make the pleated skirt a lot longer. Really, I'll just simulate that quickly. So now I've got a longer pleated skirt. So really, really easy to do. And then uh, another really important feature that you should use is a fabric preset that can help you retain, you know, the shape of these pleats. So right now we've got the default preset enabled, but uh, if you check uh, the project file that I've provided, there's actually a fabric preset in there that's that you'll use with this pleated skirt. So it's called basic pleated skirt. But in Marvelous Designer, I'm basically using this fabric preset over here called S Hardware and S Hardware has some rigidity uh, applied to it so it helps to retain the overall shape of the pleats but I'll just load in this preset from the folder anyway and you'll see when I press simulate it really accentuates all of those hard edges on our pleated skirt to give it that nice uh, finish and there we go so you can see just how simple it is to create these skirts in Marvelous Designer Okay, so there we go. Now you know how to create pleated skirts. I would also maybe recommend going ahead, selecting these pieces and reducing your particle distance, even all the way down to five, just so you can see a lot more quality on your pleated skirt. And uh, also play around with different fabric presets and see what they do. Uh, so this is on five and it looks pretty cool. So there we go. You can see just how easy it is to create these skirts. So I hope you learned something useful from this. Let me know what you think down in the description below. And as always, you guys are super awesome. Stay tuned for some more videos and tutorials and goodbye.